This impressive plant originally came from China to Europe as an ornamental. It made its way across that continent and was brought to BC. Since then, it has spread like the blackberry. On the North Shore, a dedicated team hunts down the giant hogweed, hoping to eradicate it before it is completely out of control. You may not realize that you've been burned until a day or two later. Um, it, it slowly comes out, it's uh, photophytodermatitis. So it, it, when you get the sap on you, it reacts with the sun. I think what happened with me is I was fully covered. I think when I took my gloves off, it got onto my, onto my skin. Two days later, I could see red, redness on my arm. Um, three, four days later, there was a, a real distinct burn. It was blistering and it can scar. It can, it can leave a permanent scar. If you do get the sap on you, they suggest immediately soap and water to try and clear, clear it off. In most cases, people don't realize the danger of the plant or the fact that they've actually got the sap on them until a day or two later. The sap is found in the stalk, stems and leaves. Once exposed to sunlight, it becomes toxic. The skin reddens and blisters. After about a week, the skin develops a dark color which can last for years. The plant is particularly dangerous for kids who use the thick stems for telescopes and pea shooters. Okay, so I've got this, this specially made tool because you want to be as far away from the plant as possible when you pull it down. To take the plant down, you need to have the blade at an angle. If you try and cut straight across, it doesn't work. So I'm going to cut it down, it's go going to fall, and then I'm going to remove this, the seed heads and put them immediately into the bag and then cut it cut it into smaller pieces, put it in a bag, and this bag here will go into the landfill, not into the green waste, because we don't want the, the plant spreading. It's important to be completely covered as much as possible, but the sap or the, from the plant can cause blindness, so goggles are really an important component of this whole suiting up. Uh, what we're trying to do is determine if we are actually getting on top of this whole hogweed battle and we're mapping through the city, we GPS where the plants are and we're putting together the actual square meters of area in North Vancouver that has the hogweed problem and we have noticed a reduction. So if you do find one of these plants in your yard, avoid contact with its sap and have it removed. It's best to call a qualified professional, but if you do remove it yourself, make sure that you're covered from head to toe with water-resistant protective equipment, since that sap can really burn.